country went to war. It's 1975, that's like over 40 years ago when it happened. I was not old enough to start school just yet, and when they took over, those bad people, the communists, the Khmer Rouge, they uh, destroy all school, they close all institution. They force us to leave our home from the city, evacuated to the countryside. And then later on, they separated us into work camp. I have to work anywhere from 10 to 12 hours a day so I can earn my small, very small bowl of uh, watery, I mean very uh, like runnies, hardly any rice grain in there. And even though when I go to work, if I don't finish my work on time, I still don't get to eat because they run out of food, so they don't save it for you. But thank God the war broke in 1979, so we all uh, escaped during open fire, um, or bombing and shooting. And it was three months later before my family re reunited. probably the fall of 79. And I taught the first school that really had most of the refugees. She was the first uh, uh, teacher who, who teach me, who uh, came at that part of, you know, at that time that I, I really need someone. And so her family often turned to her. As she was going to school, she was learning English, and she was, she could figure out when they had a problem, what, what did they have to do? Who did they have to talk to? 